Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to return to a planet that we actually have talked about before because we've discovered some new things about it and because it's just such an amazing and incredible exoplanet that actually has quite a lot of mysteries in it. So this is WASP-12b and it's an exoplanet that's relatively far from us but it's unofficially known as one of the darkest or maybe even the darkest exoplanets in the uh, galaxy. I've made a video about it um, approximately two years ago. You can actually check it out somewhere above my head. But today we're going to talk about some new discoveries about this object. One thing you need to know about this exoplanet is that because it's so close to the parent star, it's not going to live for a very long time. It's actually is going to disappear. It's going to be eaten alive by the star within about 10 million years from now. And this is why scientists are so interested in studying this exoplanet because we think that something like this may have actually happened in our own solar system because we believe there are several planets missing in our own solar system and we can't really explain where they went. So it's possible that something like this may have actually happened with our sun as well. Now, first of all, I wanted to talk about the shape of this planet because we now believe that it's not round as you see here. We believe that this planet is most likely egg-shaped like this. And this part here might be even longer because it's being actively sucked into the star WASP-12. Now, this is actually super interesting because that's how we think this planet will disappear one day. In terms of the actual mass right now, it's just a little bit uh, more massive than Jupiter. And it's also about 80% larger. So its density is very, very low. It's actually one of the least dense planets we've discovered. And because it's so low in density, the surface gravity here is actually very similar to surface gravity of Earth. It's only about 10% or maybe 15% uh, higher in terms of the actual gravitational attraction. But that's, of course, not the interesting part about this. The most interesting part is that, first of all, it has a tremendous amount of carbon in its atmosphere, making it very dark. The scientists that have studied this planet extensively suggested that it might be basically as dark as a typical asphalt road. But at the same time, what's really unusual about this is that this point here is super hot. However, this point here is a lot colder. We don't really know exactly how hot it is, but it's a lot colder. And because of this, there's a tremendous amount of winds going around the actual planet. And this creates very, very unusual effects. And also, because this planet is always facing with the same side toward the star, it's tidally locked, it actually has very unusual structure, something that we cannot even imagine. It's just super weird. We also have found water here, which is by itself unusual as well. Uh, water, of course, is only in the atmosphere as water vapor, but because it's so close to the star, we just can't seem to be able to explain it. But what we can actually predict and potentially explain is how it's going to disappear in about 10 million years from now because the actual star is slowly eating away at its atmosphere and of course will eventually absorb everything. First, this planet will actually turn into what's known as a Ketonian planet. That's when a gas giant loses all of its atmosphere relatively quickly, usually due to the effects of a star. And at some point, what remains behind is just the scorched core um, that is most likely just silicates and metals. And even this will eventually get absorbed. And what's really cool about this is that back in 2010, we've actually um, observed this happening. We've observed how the star is sucking on the atmosphere and is slowly eating it away. And that's how the scientists were, were able to come up with the uh, approximate date of about 10 million years before this planet disappears completely. But because this planet is also currently full of carbon, um, it's also extremely dark. So it is glowing, kind of, on one side at least. It is pretty hot, but if you were to look at it from the side or from the back, it would be completely dark because it's essentially full of carbon that's causing it to absorb a lot of light. So this is also one of the darkest objects we've discovered so far, and definitely one of the weirdest so-called hot Jupiters uh, or planets that are much more massive and much hotter than Jupiter. So this right here, WASP-12, is one of the most unusual and most intriguing exoplanets we've discovered as of 2019. 
And one of the more recent discoveries is of course that, first of all, it's egg-shaped, and second of all, it's super super dark, absorbing basically about 90% of all of the light, and once again that it's not going to last for very long. But this is for us important to understand because we are going to discover more of these exoplanets, but also because something like this may have existed in our own solar system as I mentioned before. And on top of this, uh, I believe a couple of years ago, uh, some of the Russian scientists may have also witnessed something else that suggested that this could have a moon of, of a sort, or at least a, a satellite that seems to be orbiting around it. Now, this hasn't really been confirmed yet, and it also could have just been another planet that we haven't seen in this particular star system. But it, if WASP-12b also has a moon around it, this suggests to us that we might not really understand how these planets are able to maintain moons so close to the sun. Because a single year of this planet only takes about a day. It literally takes a one single day to go around the star. And so, all in all, this is actually a super interesting but also super weird system known as WASP-12. This is actually the habitable zone that you see right there. It's very, very far from where this planet is actually located. And hopefully in the next few years we discover even more unusual things about this particular planet, or we discover more unusual and super cool objects like this one, and possibly learn something else about our own solar system by studying these weird-looking, egg-shaped, and super hot, very, very hard to see objects. On that note though, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. That's basically the story and the discoveries about WASP-12b as of 2019. But as we discover more of these exoplanets and as we discover more about this planet, I'm going to obviously mention it in one of the future videos. Also do check out the video I made about this planet about a couple years ago and where I explain why we actually think that this is the darkest planet out there. On that note, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, or share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye. Oh, and by the way, I'm also posting the link for this right here, this simulation is absolutely free, it's the Exoplanet Simulation version 2.0 directly from NASA, and it allows you to see our envisioning or our imagining of various exoplanets that we've discovered so far. Check it out, it's super cool, it has basically three-dimensional representation of major planets, and you can pretty much see everything as we think it is. On that note, that's it, see you tomorrow.